everyone, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my evening skincare routine. So I was actually going to save this video for another time, just a little bit down the road, but then I kind of thought that right now might actually be the best time because we all have so much extra time right now. So a lot of people are using this time to kind of invest in themselves a bit. Um, to take better care of themselves, you know, nail down a skincare routine. Um, so I thought that this might actually be a great time to do this video. So you'll, you might remember from my last uh, skincare video, I actually did it in my bathroom, but for today's I have actually moved into my beauty room just because I really didn't like the acoustics in there. So I have already cleansed using my Cetaphil cleanser. And then I'm just going in with my Fairs of Witch Hazel Toner. You guys know I love this. And so I'm just going to take that all over the face after I pin back my hair, of course. Um, and you'll notice my first few steps are actually quite similar, but they are quite different. And the reason is because your morning skincare routine is getting you ready for the day it's to moisturize your skin, but also to protect your skin against environmental pollutants, to, um, you know, shield your skin from anything you might encounter during the day, a lot of environmental toxins, essentially. Um, but, you know, you also want to create a really great base for your makeup as well. So at night, just like when we're sleeping, our skin needs that time to repair and recover. And so you need to give your skin a lot more of what it really needs. So I'm also now going in with my Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C eye cream from Pharmacy. Um, so your skin just needs to have a bit of a stronger routine at night. So you might have that's when you're gonna use your stronger creams and serums and, and retinols especially. I'm not currently using a retinol just because I did have a bad experience, I think, to one product. So I have to try another one. I'm just kind of trying to wait a little bit uh, before I go in with that again. So I'm just tapping this all under my eyes. And then this is where my routine turns a little bit different. So my next step is to go in with the Noni Glow Face Oil from Cora Organics. I absolutely love this line. This line can be found at Sephora. And this is one of the cleanest skincare lines that I have found in all my research. And there is a bit of a stigma against using face oil. So a lot of people are still really scared to use an oil on their face, you know, they might be afraid of like a oily effect or people with oily skin are just afraid of it. But using the right face oil can actually do so much good for your skin. It can actually work wonders for your skin. It can really help hydrate. Um, this can um, bring your glow out, I guess. So this one in particular, this is packed with antioxidants and omegas. And it is supposed to be really good for fighting the appearance, the appearance, excuse me, of acne scarring or sun damage. So you'll see I, I do have quite a lot of acne scarring, unfortunately. Um, and that's something I am very self-conscious about. So. I really do want to try to find something that's going to really fight that for me. So this serum is supposed to do all of that and just kind of reduce the appearance of stress, damage to your skin, anything like that. And it does give you a bit of a glow, but I mean, going to bed, you actually should be glowing because your skin should be so, so super hydrated. Um, and you don't want to use a face oil during the day, just because it is a bit heavier, but also because it'll make your makeup just slide around. But otherwise, this is incredible. You should definitely, in my opinion, be using a face oil at night. 
So my next step is to go in with the Elements Peptide for Night Recovery Cream Oil. This can be found at Ulta or Nordstrom. Um, it's about $80, so it's a very expensive. It does come in a pump. We know I'm a huge fan of that. So it's I usually go in with one pump of this, and I just kind of warm it up and I just go all over my face and this smells so incredible so so incredible and this is made with perilla seed oil which is supposed to protect and condition your skin this is also rich in omegas which is pretty cool um, it's supposed to reduce redness and improve your firmness and elasticity and fight aging signs and this is also five free so free of sulfates phthalates and parabens all of that bad stuff that we really don't want in our skincare anymore. So I put that in and that this is a UK brand as well. And it just smells so good. I um I think I tried one of their other products. I think it was the cleansing balm. Incredible. So so good. I do plan on ordering it again but not until I um am putting in an order for this which looks like that will be soon. So then the last step is to go in with the Lotus Youth Preserve um, Dream Face Cream. So I did just put a cream oil on my skin. However, because it is also an oil, um, I just like to put an extra dose of moisture. This is pretty lightweight, so it doesn't balance out poorly, but this is just super, super hydrating and good for recovery. And it really, really also helps fight the signs of aging. So I am going to go in with this after. And I should mention, you know, about two to three times a week after my nightly cleanse, I would go in with an exfoliator. And I'm not doing that today because I did do a mask earlier on this morning. I'm going to do a video all about my favorite face masks coming up soon. So watch out for that. But um, I'm currently using the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Cleanser, but I'm finding it's a bit too harsh for my skin, so I'm going to be switching that up. So I will keep you guys updated on that as well. Alright, so now that I have that all rubbed in, and you'll notice I do always tend to do my best to take my products down my neck a little bit just because that is one of the first place that does show signs of age okay and for my very very last step I'm going in with the Laneige lip sleeping mask this is an absolute holy grail product for me at first I used to think I can just get away with a lip balm at night no way no way is that possible this is so good this hydrates my lips like absolutely nothing else. And if you know me, you know that, I don't know why I'm trying to talk while putting on a lip product. That doesn't make any sense. So if you know me, you know that I beat my lips up. I wear a lot, I wear a lot of lipstick, but I wear lipstick almost every day. It's like my one, I do like makeup. But lipstick is like the one thing I could not live without. So I do need something like this. I need something to help my lips. And this is so amazing. My lips are so smooth when I wake up in the morning. It's just so good. I love it so much. But there you have it. That is my evening skincare routine. I'm glowing. I kind of look like a glazed donut but that is what you're supposed to look like before you go to bed it's good for your skin you want to be so super hydrated um but i really enjoyed doing this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys learn a little bit from watching my videos and i can't wait to see you next time thank you so much guys bye